what's up guys welcome to another video on salesforce world so guys in today's video i'll show you how you can handle focus in your lightning web components now you must be thinking like kapil this is very basic topic and we know that because we come from a background where we learned html first and we know like how we can set focus in html elements but you're wrong here the kind of focus we were setting in the html element and the focus we are setting it in our lightning web component is completely different like usually in HTML or any other language, like if I talk about .NET, so you can simply set the focus using the tab index attribute in your element. Like you can, you know, uh, keep it in a sync by uh, using the tab index attribute, like one, two, three, four, so the focus will go on continuously. But in Lightning Web Component, the tab index values that are available to use is zero and minus one. Yes, you heard me right. There are only two values that can be used in your Lightning Web Component. If you will try to use any other value, it is going to throw an error. So in this video, I'll show you like how you can manage focus in your Lightning Web component using the tab indexing. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right, guys, let's start today's video. Uh, so when I find this module, this handle focus module on the developer component library i was also you know very much surprised like this is a very basic thing and why this is here but while it comes to managing focus in lightning web components things are literally very very different like what we used to do in the standard html so let me show you an example of what we are already having in standard html that is not accessible in lightning web components okay for that, uh, I will be using an example in W3 Schools website. Okay, so like this is a standard HTML file, and here we are just having like three div tags. And in the div tag, you may notice this tab index attribute. The same attribute is available in Lightning Web Components as well, but the way you can use it in a Lightning Web Component is completely different. Okay, I'll uh, we'll we'll come uh, come back to that again. So. The tab index basically defines like what should be the next tab uh, when, you, when you press the tab key in your keyboard. So let's suppose like when, when the page will load, so it is going to be always on the tab index 1 when you will press tab. When you will press tab again, it is going to navigate you on the tab index 2. And the next time it is going to tab index 3 and go on. So here if you will notice like there are three div tags but the tab index are not in sequence just to give you guys a better idea like how this how these things are working in html okay so the tab index is one three two okay so let's suppose like if i am here on w3 school so this is the tab one okay so so by focusing uh, to focus an element there could be two ways either you can press the tab key or you can do the mouse click so if i will do the mouse click that means like I'm already on that element and the focus will be skipped to the next one. Okay. So now if I will press the tab, it will go to the tab two, which is Microsoft. Okay. And if I will not click on this uh, tab one, then let me show you what will happen. Okay. So I have not clicked on the tab one. So as you can see, like the tab one is selected by default. It is already having uh, its focus. Now when I will press the tab key, it is going to be on the tab index 2 which is microsoft okay and when i will press the tab key again it is going to navigate you to the tab index 3 which is going to be google uh, now i'm wondering like to show this example i should have added salesforce in those values but anyways i mean this is just an example so yeah and now like while i'm on tab index 3 and if i will press tab again so it is going to be on tab index 4 and if I will press the tab key again, it is going to be on the URL. Uh, it is going to be on the address bar of this browser because like we don't have any further tabs on the component itself. So that that's uh, why it is trying to find, you know, other tabs available on the page itself. Okay. So the same way we are having this tab index in Salesforce, but in Salesforce Lightning Web Components, how tab are going to work is like either you can have a value of zero or you may have a value of minus one zero means like you can have tab on this element 
and 1 means you cannot, sorry, minus 1 means like you cannot have tab on this element. Okay, so these are only two at, uh, values available for this tab index attribute. Okay, now let me show you an example. So for this example, I have already created three, three separate components. So for the first one, I will be having a tab index on the element itself. So let's uh, check the first one. Okay. So let me show you the code. So this is the first component. So here if you'll notice like I'm having this parent component which is having parent focus and underneath that I'm having a child component. Now you must be wondering like how it is going to maintain the tab accessibility in the child component. I'll show you that. So in this example I'll show you like how you can uh, use the tab uh, to focus a element in the child component. Okay. So in the child component also, I'm just having a text and the input. Okay. So as we are not having, and guys also like in lightning web components, you can have the tab index attribute here on a child component also. So right now, as we are not having it, it is, so it is not going to be on this component. Okay. So let's suppose if I'm on a parent component and, and now on the parent component, let's suppose I'm not having any elements that can be focused. So when I will press the tab again, if I'm not having any element on the parent component, what it is going to do. So it will be focusing on the next available element in the child component itself. Okay. But the thing is, it is not going to focus that child component. It will be focusing on the element of the child component. So let's suppose if I'm here and if I will press the tab key. Yeah. So right now the tab is on button you can see the focus here okay now if i will press the tab so the tab will be on this input itself see so without using that tab index attribute the tab is going to you know navigate you to the next available element and if you would like to you know add uh, focus to a specific element let's suppose like if you need to focus this complete lightning web component first before uh, going inside its element and guys uh, trust me like this this can be very very useful for the people with disabilities let's suppose like if someone is having a lower vision and and he's he's a guy or like who use only you know keyboard keys to navigate through his stuff and he's having a lower vision so by highlighting the components in a sequence like what should be the next component highlighted after the first one and if we highlight the component in a sequence so that is going to be very very useful for people with disabilities okay so like this was the first example where you can navigate through element directly without focusing on the child okay now let's move to the second one so the second is the tab index one so on the second component uh, i'm also having a button and a child component but this time if you'll notice the child component is having tab index as zero so as i told you earlier like in tab index you can have only two values like zero and minus one zero means this should be a focusable element and minus one means skip this okay so now if i will go to the child component so let's suppose i'm here right now okay so this was the child component for my first example but now if i will press the tab it is going to find other focusable element on the page itself okay so the next focusable element will be my button so if i will click on tab it will go to the button okay now so in the previous example while while i pressed the tab after on after this button so it was highlighting this element inside this lighting web component but now in this child with focus if I will press the tab and I'm on the button, so it is going to highlight the component first. Okay, so as you can see, like uh, the component has been highlighted here. And now if I will press the tab again, then it is going to be inside that element of that component. Okay, so that's how you can, you know, highlight a specific area, a specific label or I mean, whatever is required. And also the same way, like if you will use the minus one thing. So let's suppose if I'm using uh, tab index minus one and also guys let me show you like what will happen like if you will enter any other value in tab index so let's suppose if I'm using tab index 2 
So you can see the error, the attribute tab index can only be set to zero or minus one in land WC. Okay, so let's start at minus one. So the tab index is minus one now. So technically it should not have focus on this button now. Instead of that, it should focus the child element directly. Okay, so let me just refresh the page. All right, so now let's suppose I'm on this button the next will be this input element now uh, previously like when i press uh, when i press tab while i was on this input it was redirecting me to this button but as this button is having a uh, tab index as minus one now so it will be skipping this button and redirecting me navigating me direct to this child component so if i will press the tab now to so see like it, it it has skipped the button and now the tab is directly on the lightning web component. So that's how you can use the minus one thing as well. Okay, let me remove it. So let's suppose like you don't, I mean, if you'd like to have the default navigation, then you don't have to, you know, add a tab here. If you would like to add a tab to a specific element, which is not focusable as of now, but you need it to be focusable, then you have to add the tab index zero to add it in the tab index, uh, the tab elements queue. If you would like to remove a specific element from the tab sequence queue, then you can simply make it like tab index is minus one. Okay. So, yep. So that's how you can use tab. Now the next example is like parent with delegates focus. So guys, like if you are dealing with a custom component, then in that you have to, you know, focus the, uh, ma manage the tabs manually, but using this delegates focus as per the documentation, you can uh like using this delegates fo focus you can enforce the navigation automatically like as per the recommendation this should happen okay so to do that you just have to uh, use the similar thing but there will be a specific javascript parameter also so like this is my component and in javascript you should be just having this static delegates focus is equal to true okay so what it will do basically using this delegates focus, you can uh, use the focus function on HTML elements using like uh, dot focus. Okay. And using this delegates element uh, focus, if your node inside a DOM element, okay, that is not focusable. So what will happen? The first focusable element will be having the uh, focus in that case that is similar like when you will click on a label and the input near it uh, gets the focus so like if i would like to if i have to explain it using an example so let's suppose if i'm on this page so the first available row will become uh, focus it will be having the focus so which is like w3 school right now okay and now like if I'm already on an element, so let's suppose if, I, if I'm already on an element, let's suppose if I'm on Google right now. And now if I will press the tab, so it will be having the next focusable element. So basically you can maintain the focus automatically using the delegates focus while you're working with your custom components. Otherwise you have to, you know, maintain the tab navigation and other stuff manually. And as per the documentation, you should not use tab index with delegates focus because it throws off the focus order because like focus should be in a specific order and if you will use a tab index with delegates focus so sometimes you know it is possible like it might be uh you know it might be rearranged the that order thing or it, it might be disturbed that order thing i have not tried that delegates focus that much personally but this is what as uh, they are having in, in that official document so yep so that it is for today guys and uh, that's how you can manage the focus that's how you can handle focus in your lightning web component so if you like today's video or uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll be having this uh, complete code on my blog also which is salesforceworld.com where i'll be mentioning the official document link as well all right so i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching